Viennese. Now, people came here over to the Sausalito in the summertime from San Francisco because it was freezing cold in the fog over in San Francisco and they wanted the sunshine. And many of them came over and they lived on houseboats. Now, you are, we are going to see some of these houseboats. If you would like, there are several things you can do while you're in Sausalito. Uh, you can follow me into the frozen yogurt store or the homemade ice cream store. Uh, you can go to the socks store called Soxalito and buy yourself some socks. You can go in, uh, I love it, Soxalito. Um, there's always a sock for somebody and it's very inexpensive. Um, you can also go into a store and buy all kinds of souvenirs. We have a Christmas tree store, so if anybody collects Christmas ornaments, we have that. Um, the uh, so those are things you can do. So there's, whoopsie, I'm glad he's going the other way. I'm glad they're going the other way and not my way. And they're not going to my brother's street, so that's good. Um, now as we come around the corner, if anybody's been to Denmark, they may have seen the Little Mermaid statue. Well, we have a little sea lion statue. So as we come around, we're going to look. It's just if you look ahead, you'll see a, a garbage can. And that's not the little sea lion. I don't know what that is out in the water. That looks like a float of some kind or somebody on some sort of conveyance. Um, that's interesting. I can't really, ha don't really have my glasses on. It looks like somebody's in a little boat there. But the little sea lion is where those people are walking, that individual man walking. We're going to look over in the water and see our little sea lion see how much above the water he is. We'll be able to tell the tide. Now there are a lot of little stores. We even have a wine store open at this hour. So there we go. Everybody look out to the right in the water and see our little sea lion sitting up there looking at us. And remember the sea lion has ears and the sea lion can walk on the land, whereas the seal cannot do that. Uh, the most important building in town they had an opening, they had a grand ribbon breaking, and it was the restroom. Uh, the restroom is a brick building, it's right next to the bank, so if anybody needs an ATM, there is the Bank of America building that has an ATM, and right next to that is the public restrooms. Um, right here, you're going to start looking right about now, on the left hand side, there's just one main street, so you'll basically see that it's very small. If anybody decides they don't want to shop, when we get over to the other side where the bus is parked, I'll show you a walkway where you can go down and select your yacht. Uh, you can also go out and see some of the houseboats if you want to do that instead of being downtown. There's Bridgeway, it's a little cafe. The On the right hand side, I think the Christmas tree store may be open soon. If you're looking right here on the right hand side, you can find every souvenir in the world and only in Sausalito. So anything you want to find, you should be able to find there. Look on the left hand side for Lappert's ice cream. That's where you will see me. Um, as we come up ahead, if you're looking straight ahead, that is the restrooms, those two little dares with a little red brick house. We are going to be parked in the bus parking lot. Uh, Sausalito, if you can... Taj Mahal. Anybody see a Taj Mahal houseboat? 
everybody's going to see it now, okay? Get ready to look out on the right-hand side. I want you to look way out at the end, in between the trees, and you're going to see something. Okay, do you look what, see, it looks like an Indian building way out there? Now, you're all going to see it when we get up to this next cross street where the lady in the orange, where those ladies in the red jackets are. Okay, so Nick's going to go real slow here. Slow down, Nick. Everybody look across and look out to the right. Do you see the Taj Mahal houseboat? Oh, yeah. Everybody got it out there? Yep. Wow. Isn't that something? Oh, yeah, and I got a close-up to prove it. So what happened is people, <coughs> people came over here in the eight, late 1800s and they had these lovely little Victorian houses and some of them decided to put them out. We get back down just before we go on the freeway and uh, sometimes they actually don't even float. People have literally constructed them out there. Now once a year they have a uh, an open house so it's sort of like um, going out to anyone's sort of open house decorator showcase and they let you come in and see them and the money goes to their association. So what I did is about 10 years ago I took pictures inside of a lot of these different houseboats and you've got everything from something that could have been at, on, off of Park Avenue in New York to some little funky uh, houseboat was an old tugboat with the old macrame planters hanging around so you have every kind. Um, so I'm going to pass around some pictures, and then of course you have the Taj Mahal. Um, I love one of these cute little ones. It, you know, it looks like it's got an old little quilt on it. It's very funky. Renegades don't want to pay taxes. See, the rest of those guys, they're part of Sausalito. They got to pay taxes. These guys, these people just go out and anchor out there. They're called anchor outs, and technically that's, you know, illegal because they're just basically squatters. So they have, and every now and then they try and go out and round up the anchor outs and say, you can't just sit out here without paying something to somebody. And uh, go, out some, go, out, go out to some South Sea Island and see if you can swing it down there. So isn't this pretty? Now, across, on the, uh, across the, the water here, uh, particularly back me, used to live over in an area here. You used to have a house over here. Also a wonderful guy named Phil Frank who used to do a cartoon strip called Farley, and, he, and, he, and it was a wonderful cartoon strip, anybody local. And of course, the fine ladies up on the hillsides didn't think she should be on the city council, so she lost for five elections. Um, the rumor is that she changed her name. She actually, to her official name, because she'd run as Sally Stanford, she decides to run as, run as Mabel Busby. Um, she did win on the sixth try fountain by the ferry boats and said have a drink on Sally. Uh, her little dog was named Leland Stanford <laughs> and so there was a little drinking fountain for dogs that said have a drink on Leland um, and they made her vice mayor for life. That We're going to go through the Robin Williams tunnel. Um, the What you're seeing out now out here, now Tiburon is the name of that peninsula and it is actually not uh, an island. But next to it is a real island, which you can't tell is an island always. That is Angel Island. Everything had to be named after the angel. So the five. So she says LC number five. She has the number five for the uh, fire department embroidered on her underwear as well as, uh, you know, for that. When she made out her will, she said, please, Telegraph Hill, which used to be where the telegraph was. We'll see that as we go around. And that, the minute they unveiled it, everybody said, it's a fire nozzle. Lily put up a fire nozzle in Liar the Fireman, which also isn't true, but it's a great tower up there that you can see when you're going down along the waterfront. Now we're coming back into the city, and I promise to tell you about